Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Wu, and welcome back to another Division Build video. And a few days ago, the Fang Shield was unlocked, and due to work commitments, I've had a, a busy few days at work. So today's the first chance I've had to put a build together um, and really hit the Fang Shield hard. And me, I'm more of a PvP guy, but I do enjoy dabbling in PvE, so I thought I'd put this build together for you guys today. Um, this is a really strong PvE build. This is a tank build. You've seen the footage, you know where it is, it's D3. Yeah, I personally believe D3 uh, in a group scenario is the best build you could get. It's as simple as that. I really enjoy being the tank and this is what this build's all about and this will help you breeze through this content uh, exceptionally quickly which will give you uh, that shield. Easy as that. An hour and a half I've put into this, and I've smashed out four missions. It's, it's easy as that. Uh, what we're talking about? We're talking about the Fang Shield. So, okay, you recently uh, probably have seen this has been activated, and the first thing that's going to be asked is, what is the United Nations on Legendary? What is that? It is the General Assembly. Okay, so if you ever wondered what that was when it popped up, it is General Assembly. I was exactly the same when it first unlocked. So, yeah. That one, done it, smashed it easy. Okay, and I'll this evening I will smash out these three. Easy as that. Okay, so let's take a look at the build. This is my PvE D3 build. Uh, it is a 9k stamina. That is for me to get the bonus uh, shield health. Uh, 4k firearms. That will unlock my weapon talents and the generic 2951 electronics. Um... I have 125k uh, skill power, that is to unlock the shield health from the 6 piece. But anyway, we'll go through D3 first and we'll see what D3 does. Set bonus 2 is 15% protection from elites. Set bonus 3 is 10% ballistic shield damage resilience. Set bonus 4 is frontline allows using an SMG if one is equipped when ballistic shield is deployed. Only master rank shield mod is active. Ballistic shield health is increased by 57% for every 3,000 stamina. Obviously, I'm running 9,000 stamina, so that is an extra 171%. My maths are correct. Okay, set bonus 5 is 15% protection from elites and an extra 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. And set bonus six is improved frontline. Bit of a long one, this one. Is when ballistic shield is deployed, melee damage is increased by 2000%. And all overhealing the player receives is applied to the ballistic shield as healing. After reaching a damage threshold from receiving physical or exotic damage, the ballistic shield grants a buff to the player and all group members within 15 meters for six seconds. The duration of the buff is increased by two seconds for every 3000 stamina the player has. Physical damage armor uh, is increased by 30%, and exotic damage, weapon damage, is increased by 30%. When 9,000 stamina, ballistic shield health is increased by 200%. It's pretty tasty, and again, everything is in place for this build to be at 9,000 stamina. There's no other reason why you do any less, because you're not going to see the benefit of the build. And this is the perfect team build. And don't get me wrong, you can run the solo and be super effective. However, in a group, you are the most important cog in the wheel. It's as simple as that. Okay, so we'll start uh, start from the gear. We'll have a got it rolled. Um, my chest piece is rolled into stamina with enemy armor damage as a major, health, ammo capacity, and the mods I'm rolling with are stamina critical hit chance, and they're god roll as well. And just as a heads up, I'm using ammo capacity as a minor, because you've, you've got to look at this, is you're not hitting exceptionally hard, because you've only got 4k firearms, um, so ammo capacity is a necessity either on your backpack or your chest piece, uh, ideally both uh, for PvE, but chest piece, backpack, one or the other is a minimum requirement, make sure you get ammo capacity on there and you, you'll understand why once you're rolling with this build. Okay, mask, my mask is rolled into stamina with skill power, damage to elites as the minor, which is also key, so again you can hit exceptionally hard uh, given you've got damage to elites on there, all the enemies you're going to face are yellow bar enemies, 
stamina critical chance as the prototype mod. Onto the knee pads, it is stamina with skill power, shock resistance, disorient resistance, and damage to elites. Again, this is a PVE build, so that's 28% damage to elites. And the mods, stamina health and 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. Onto the holster, it is critical at chance as the major, and the mod is 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. And onto the gloves, it is stamina with critical hit damage, SMG damage, and critical hit chance. And the backpack is firearms with skill power, ammo capacity. So loads of ammo for me. And the mods I'm rolling with are stamina should be health. Yep. And two ballistic shield damage resilience mods. Okay. We'll go into the abilities and skills. Let's take a look at the weapon. I'm rolling with the house. Uh, it has deadly, which is a very good talent to have on this build. Destructive would also be a, an exceptional talent, given uh, most of the uh, again most of the enemies will have a huge pool of armor. And again, destructive works really well in terms of just weeding that down as much as you can, as quickly as you can. But the key for me is predatory. Taking, our, taking an enemy down, this gives you 35% health back over 20 seconds. This is really, really good. This will keep your health continually topped up. This will give you that chance to make sure you can face tank and face tank really well for the team. So predatory is really, really good. Car counter as well. That's just a generic house talent. And in terms of the attachments, it is critical chance, rate of fire and critical damage. Okay, my secondary, I do not use this, it's there for show, and that is the tactical ACR with predatory, sustained, and determined. And the mods are all stability, accuracy, critical chance. Okay, we look at the character sheet first. 45% uh, critical chance on my house. Uh, the cap itself is 60%. I'm running precision as a talent in my skill tree as well. That gives me an extra 12.5% critical hit chance uh, and 25% critical hit damage. And that's key to any SMG build. So 45% is a very, very good place to be. I can sacrifice a little bit of health and get my critical hit chance to 47%. I've opted not to. I've opted to stay at 45% to give me a little bit more health, a bit more tankiness to the build. Um, again, because you are playing the tank in this role. Uh, crystal damage 112%, which is quite nice. And damage to the least, as discussed before, 28%. And 6% enemy armor damage. That gives me a, a touch extra DPS when I'm taking down NPCs. Abilities. Uh, first ability is uh, first aid overdose and this can, has the ability to give me an overheal and also heals my shield which is really really good and that's what you need when you're running a shield build you need to make sure that you're consistently healing that shield because you're going to take a lot of damage and you'll be face tanking all of the time so this is key to make sure you have overdose attached and obviously the shield and shield health is 2.350 million which is very nice and to get that you need a minimum of 120,000 skill power that will unlock the ability to get your max out health on your shields make sure you have skill power everywhere you can to get that to 120k okay in terms of talents i'm running with Combat Medic, this will heal your team, but more importantly, heal your shield as well. So definitely have this equipped. It's a go-to talent. One is none. Brilliant on, a, on a, an SMG stroke uh, ballistic shield help, uh, build, simply because this gives you uh, a chance of an extra 30, 40 bullets per magazine, which is really good, uh, given you're not going to be dealing a heavy amount of DPS, uh, but this will get you consistently pumping out ammo into NPCs, especially named enemies and hunters as well. So this is a, a, a good, strong talent to have. And precision, as discussed, this will get you that extra 12.5% critical chance and 25% critical damage. No brainer, make sure you have it attached. And on the move, you are consistently walking with the shield. So again, this is a must-have talent. This will make you even more tankier. Simple as that. Okay, and the last thing to note on the build is this bad boy, Ballistic Shield Damage Resilience. This is key. Don't go for damage, don't go for health, 
go for resilience. And the reason being, we go back to the ability sheet, shield, my, my damage resistance 45%. 45% that is effectively having a mini survivor link consistently active once the shield is deployed it's as simple as that once that shield goes that's it you, you, you will become um, you know, quite quite squishy you know in, in legendary content but once that shield is deployed 45% is a survivor link it's as simple as that so make sure you have resilience mods don't go for damage so you, you hit a little bit harder don't go for health because your health's already in a really really good place at 2.35 million go for resistance or resilience mods and that will make you even more tanky so you can soak up as much damage and, and bullets as possible to ensure that your rested team are buffed in a good place to continue uh, either healing popping sticky bombs, seeker mines, if it's central build they're, they're marking your enemies resilience is the key so make sure you have that on this build Okay, guys, I say this is my Fang Shield um, easy group build. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please smash the like button. If you want to see more Division content in the future, then please smash the subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the DZ. Take it easy.